All right, so this is a quick video of how to uh, jailbreak your iPhone 4 with uh, iOS 4.1. Now, as you can clearly see here on my screen, uh, I'm currently running on, uh, let's see here, I am running on 4.0.1, and you can see by the model that uh, this is clearly an iPhone 4. Um, we will go back over to Cydia and I apologize about my uh, screen my capture software is having issues right now but as you can see on the top uh, I have my SHSH blobs saved in Cydia for 4.0, 4.0.1, 4.0.2, and 4.1. So this is good because before you upgrade, what I would recommend that you do, if you rely on a carrier unlock, meaning if if you're in the U.S. and let's, let's say you use T-Mobile example as your service provider, they're not a, a carrier for the iPhone, so you do rely on a carrier unlock. So when you upgrade to 4.1 that's going to upgrade your baseband and it's going to mess up your lock ultra snow currently doesn't work with the latest baseband i believe the latest baseband is 2.14.0 something like that it doesn't work with that baseband you need the old baseband because ultra stone works for that so what do you do well making sure that you have your blob saved what you can do is you can use tiny umbrella to update to 4.1 without upgrading your baseband and i will show you that here next Alright, so you want to make sure you have the latest version of uh, Tiny Umbrella. The latest version currently is uh, 4.1.6. Uh, as you can see, um, so name of my iPhone, iPhone model. Uh, my current baseband is 01.59.00. That's the one you want to keep because if you upgrade to the newer version, it won't work. Uh, so you want to go ahead and start the TSS server. You see how it says it's killing iTunes. Restart, uh, restart uh, to restore your device. So you want to go ahead and restart iTunes if you're running it, or go ahead and open up iTunes. Okay, don't update. <clears throat> And of course, it's probably a good idea before you start the whole process to back up your iPhone with iTunes. So you're going to want to go ahead and in order to restore to 4.1 but not actually update, you want to hold shift. If you're using a Windows computer, hold shift on your keyboard, click restore. Choose the firmware, which is the correct one. In this case, it's iPhone 3, uh, 1 underscore 4.1, so on. Choose that, hit open. All right, as you can see now, it's restoring the software. All right, so software is about halfway loading, uh, done loading on the iPhone 4. Verifying the software right now with the uh, uh, with iTunes, and pretty soon here it should give an error. Thank you. 
All right, and there we go. So 10,004 is the error. And on my screen, it is stuck in recovery mode. All right, now you see here, tiny umbrella, kick device out of recovery mode. So I'm going to kick my device out of recovery mode. All right, so my device has been kicked out of recovery mode. I'm just waiting for it to be detected uh, by iTunes again. Right now on the iPhone screen, it has the uh, progress bar and it's slowly uh, progressing through with the boot up. Uh, I don't need to activate or anything like that. It says can connect to iTunes and then should activate my uh, iPhone here. So I'll just hit continue. And it's going to restore my iPhone. Now for this, I'll go ahead and stop the video. I won't have you guys suffer through all of this. All right, now in retrospect, it was probably better if I would have just went ahead and not synced everything from my iPhone and just went ahead and allowed it to, you know, just connect as a new iPhone. Uh, so I apologize about that. I did have to stop the video for a while while I was allowing my iPhone to update. Anyways, as you can see, modem firmware, hopefully you can see that, 01.59.00, hopefully, and version, hopefully you can see that, 4.1. So we are on 4.1 without upgrading the modem firmware. So this is good for people who need to have the carrier unlock. Okay, so I'm doing this on the fly. I've never done this, done this before, so you're watching me do it for the first time. So I went ahead and downloaded LimeRain.exe. Uh, this will be posted in the description as well. Here we go. It says, make it rain as you can see here. says it's entering recovery mode telling me to hold the home and the power button that's obviously not good because I don't want that to come in well this is turning out to be a little bit more complicated than I had anticipated because these stupid iTunes screen keeps popping in the way so I can't see the instructions so we'll try it this way So meanwhile, iTunes is going ape shit. And we have a whole bunch of things coming up, but it looks like overall it did what it was supposed to do. And on the screen, you can see that it's got the uh, lime rain raindrop. I'll hit OK here. We'll close out of that. All right, so looks good. Uh, looks like it, everything took. 
take a look here. Uh, there's lime rain right there. And here's the option to install Cydia. Alright, so as you can see, City has been installed, now the icon is just blank, so hopefully this will be resolved once I tap on City and uh, allow it to go ahead and do all its updates. Hopefully, uh, once it reboots, it'll have the icon uh, displayed correctly, because I have not rebooted it since the uh, exploit, exploit was uh, installed and since I downloaded City. So hopefully once it downloads packages and does all the essential updates and it reboots, it will have the icon. Uh, once it reboots, uh, we'll check back in. Alright, so it downloaded all the essential updates. I went ahead and skipped that, skipped that part for you guys. Nothing really there that uh, you haven't seen before. If you've jailbroken your device before, you've seen what Cydia looks like when you first install it and you have to download the essential updates so uh, download the updates they installed prompted me to reboot the device I rebooted it and that's what you're seeing right now alright we'll go ahead and slide to unlock and there we go the icon is now back to normal uh, the lime rain icon is also there you can also tap on lime rain and uninstall that as well uh, your choice so that's pretty much it. You've seen me walk from the beginning on updating my iPhone from 4.0.1 to 4.1 while keeping the old baseband and not upgrading to the new baseband, thus preserving the ability to my, for my device to be unlocked by Ultra Snow should I need it. We then proceeded, once we confirmed that we had 4.1 installed, we then proceeded to download the Lime Rain uh, jailbreak from uh, GeoHot. And then you saw me install that from scratch to the device. Uh, you saw the issues we had as far as trying to get it into DFU mode because iTunes kept popping up. And then you saw the screen come up with Cydia. And then you saw Cydia be installed. And then after Cydia was installed, we rebooted. And you can clearly see that this is now a jailbroken iPhone 4 device that is on 4.1 jailbroken, jailbroken with Lime Rain. This is Ray from iPhone Repair. Thank you very much.